Aaron, another solid start for Carlos Rodon. Just what did you see from him this afternoon, and what could he mean to this rotation moving forward? He's a big part. That's why we went out and got him, you know, a couple of years ago. It's he's, you know, an incredible pitcher. Uh, today, I feel like his four seam was he's using his fastball a lot, getting a lot of swings and misses on that. And when you're trying to protect against 97, 98, I think that's when his slider, curveball, everything else kind of really come into play. So. He was just, I feel like, dominant with that fastball, and I set everything else up. What do you think has really allowed Anthony to settle in post-All-Star break? Five home runs his last 11 games, and seems like he's found a rhythm at the plate in general. I think the biggest thing I've noticed is he's on time. You know, he's on time for every single pitch. I feel like every time he gets up there, he's ready to crush from the very first pitch. And, you know, when you're able to do that with the type of pitchers we're facing, you know, it, it puts you in a better spot. So... You know, he's ready to go from the very first pitch. He's taking tough pitches. He's he's just being a tough out right now, which I love. Seems like it's been the formula. Juan gets on and you drive him in with a home run. Just take me through that first inning at bat. I really don't know what to say. You know, it's just it's, it's been a treat getting a chance to hit behind Juan all year. Just watching his at bat after at, at bat, you know, just quality. He's working the count. He's letting me see a bunch of different pitches. He's making the pitcher work, which, you know, helps me out when I step in the box now. This guy just threw six, you know, tough pitches to a guy and, you know, wants to stand on first and second base, and now he's got to go through, you know, three, four, five. It's, you know, it, it all starts with him. You know, it starts with the guys at the top of those lineup. You know, if it's Doogie, if it's GT at the top, and then, you know, it's been fun hitting behind one. When you look at that intentional walk in the second inning, are you looking at that as the ultimate sign of respect, or is that frustrating at all to you that you don't get to swing the bat? Uh, it's tough, you know. I always want to hit, but um, you know, Barrios and I, we've we've gone back and forth for years. And I got a chance to play against him in the minor leagues. He's had my number for a while, so um, you know, I, I never mind taking a walk against that guy. That's for sure. Were you surprised by it? I think just how early it was in the game, but it, it was still it was still pretty close at the time. So I guess with two outs there, you know, I think they were just looking to maybe just you know getting out the next guy. So. Um, but Wills came up with a big hit, so it's hopefully it doesn't happen again. We'll see. Yeah, that was your 16th home run in the first inning this year. Tied Babe Ruth for a franchise record. Just what does it mean to hear your name and his company? Just it's surreal. You know, anytime you hear any of those greats that are, you know, all around this building, all around this stadium, it's almost kind of make believe. You know, some of the stuff they did. So to be mentioned in any type of category sends anything with those guys it's it's quite an honor and um hopefully keep doing it and getting some more wins how much information can you believe from us you know wants at bats and like you know not just i just watch it but implement it you know moments later how, how much can you do i think the biggest thing is i'm checking out the movement i'm checking out how the pitchers you know it's i know it's early in the game but you know based on his warm-up pitches to how he's going through the first two guys, what pitches is he feeling? Is he feeling his fastball today? How's the fastball movement? You know, is he working more at the changeup? Is it more off speed? Like, what's he have a feel for? And for me, that just kind of helps me calculate my game plan and, you know, how the guy's probably going to attack me. Because if he's not feeling his off speed pitches and it really lets me lock in on the fastball, if his fastball command's a little off, you know, he might try to go first pitch off speed. So it's um, a bunch of different things we kind of look at. But he, he's, he's giving me a lot of info with those pitches. Slugger, who's on a nice roll, looking across the field at another. What do you think of the heater that Vladdy is on? That's that's Vladdy. You know, that's a Vladdy I've seen you know, year after year. He's it's, it's impressive. You know, it doesn't matter what pitch it is. He can go back to his first at bat where you know he's swing through a curveball and then also the next pitch you get another curveball and you hit it out to you know 100 miles an hour off the plate away and you drive it to right field. It's Impressive to see his approach. He's just it looks like he's never off balance, never fooled. He's on every single pitch, and um, you know I had to kind of rub him on the shoulder when I I think I walked one of those at bats. Said, hey, I got to take a hit away from you, man. You're <laughs> you're getting too many of them. So it's uh, it's it's fun competing against guys like that and watching guys like that.